Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can move and resize selected controls in a form or report that is displayed in Design View. When you select controls in Design View, seven small orange squares and one large gray square will appear around the border of the selected controls. The small orange squares are the resizing handles used to resize the controls, and the large gray square is the moving handle used to move the control. To resize a selected control, place your mouse pointer over the resizing handle that represents the direction in which you want to resize the control until your mouse pointer turns into a small two-headed black arrow. When it does this, click and drag to resize the selected control or controls. If you are using the Layout View, you can place your mouse pointer anywhere over the orange border of the selected control until you see the double pointed black arrow appear and then click and drag to resize the selected control or controls. You can also move selected controls. This will allow you to pick up a control or a group of selected controls and place them into another part of the form. To do this in Design View, place your mouse pointer over the border of the selected control where there is not a resizing square. When you're in the correct position, your mouse pointer will turn into a small four-pointed arrow. Click and drag on the border when your mouse pointer looks like that to move the selected control or controls. When you release the left mouse button, you will release the control or controls wherever the mouse pointer is located. Once again, if using the layout view, you place the mouse pointer directly over the center of the selected control until you see the four-pointed arrow appear. Then click and drag to move only the selected control or controls into the desired position within the form or report. When you add controls to a form or report from the field list, they appear as a paired control with one label control and one associated field control. That means that in addition to the actual field data, there is also a paired label with the field's name in it. If you move one control of the paired set in Design View, you move the other as well. Sometimes you want to move one control without moving the other when in Design View. The handle that you use to move a single part of a paired control is the large gray square in the upper left corner of the control when the control is selected. You can place your mouse pointer over this handle until it turns into the four-pointed arrow and then click and drag to move this control independently of its paired control partner. Then release the mouse button to place it into a new position. Note that in the layout view, the paired control effect is nullified. You always move only the selected control or controls when you reposition them within the form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.